Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I want to share with you how I play Rumble as recorded by Link Ray on guitar. So let's get straight into it. The first riff starts out just using two chords. It goes... And the first chord shape here is the open D chord. I'm playing from the fourth string down, open, two, three, two. And then we're going to an E chord, which is all six strings, open, two, two, one, open, open. Now we're going to strum that D chord, and when I strum it, I actually just try and stop it around the second string. So I go, just play those two, and then when I get to the E chord, I do all six strings. Now this rhythm figure that we're playing in the song is beats three, four, one, so you would count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So that's the first part of this song, and I'm going to break down the whole thing for you step by step. But before we get into the rest of it, if you're new to the channel, I want to give you a gift right away that's really going to help you out with this song. See, I put together this awesome fretboard guide that shows you the five chords and the five scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And this is so useful if you want to learn to unlock your guitar neck and you want to learn songs faster. In fact, in this song, there's a part where we go and play this big riff that goes down and that's based off something called the pentatonic scale. And I wanna give you this cheat sheet, this guide that's really gonna be one of the most useful things you can get for learning the guitar neck completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide. You can download it right there as my gift to you. All right, so from there, we play the D to the E. We do that twice, we go. Two, three, four, one, two, do it again. Four. Then we go one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, here it changes. We play a D, and then instead of going to E, we actually go to an A chord here. And that's, I'm playing from the fifth string down, just open, two, two, two. So I go D, D, A, two, three, four. Then again, go back, D, D, E. That's the same as the first part. Then we go... All right, here's the fourth chord that you need to know. There's four chords in this song. This last one is a B7. So I'm playing from the fifth string down, two, one, two, open two. And when we get to this chord, we actually first just pluck the fifth string, and then I sort of drag my pick through the rest of the strings, just raking it down. So coming from the D, it's gonna go three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so at this point in the song, we actually play a two, four bar. And previously we've been counting one, two, three, four, four beats in a measure. But when we get to this B7, we're gonna count one, two, three, four, one, two, and then we'll restart back to one and play this riff. And I love this part. This is the part that I was mentioning that ties right in with my fretboard guide. You start on the third fret of the first string and you go three, zero. Then go to the second string, same thing, three, zero. Then on the third string, two, zero. Same on the fourth string, two, zero. Same on the fifth string, two, zero. And then we'll finish grabbing that third fret on the low E. And here we're gonna give it just a little pull on the string, a little bend. So it's. And then go to the open low E. Now the rhythm on this part is triplets. So there's three plucks to one beat. We're gonna count one and a two and a three and a four and a, we'll hold that last one and then E 
is on the downbeat. So it's one and a two and a three and a four and a one. All right, then from there we go. And we actually repeat back to the top. So if I rewind just a little bit from the B7 and count it out, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four, one. Then we're back to that main figure. So let's put it all together. I'm gonna play this entire first part one time through with all those chords. So all four, we're using a D, an E, an A, and a B7. Get set and I'll count us in. One, two. Two, three, four. One, two. Two, three, four. One, two. To A. Three, four. Back to E. comes the B7. Oh, one, two. One, two. All right, so that is the majority of this song. Now it goes back and it repeats everything again. And the second time we go on to this little bridge section. And after the second time, what we do is right there, we would go. D to E, two, three, four. Then we do it again, two, three, four. So we do that two times. And then we go up to the 12th fret here. And we're gonna play an E chord. It's gonna be on the top four strings, just a different way of playing it here. 14th fret, 13th fret, 12th fret, 12th fret. Okay, it looks like part of a E bar chord here, just the top four strings. And what we're gonna do is actually slide into that chord and use a technique called tremolo picking, where we're just gonna go down up on the strings, that's a pattern, so down up really quick. It's gonna sound like this. So I'm sliding in and then doing a full bar of tremolo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We do this three times. Then in the fourth bar, we're gonna do four slides with quarter notes. So one, two, three, four. Again, keeping that tremolo picking going. And we'll slide out of that on the last time. Go to A. One, two. What happens here is we come out of that tremolo picking to the A chord in the first part. So it basically just takes the first couple bars of the riff and instead of playing like we've been doing, we're gonna just two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, then one, two, Two, then. Four, one, two. One, two. All right, there's one other thing I want to talk about that's going to help you get the sound on the recording, and that is using tremolo. And that's a, just an oscillating effect. And as the song progresses, you could hear the effect getting more and more intense, like the intensity knob is cranking up. So here's, here's what it sounds like if I turn on a little bit of tremolo. So you hear this oscillating sound. Now, if I turn the intensity up, You could really hear that tremolo working. So you can add that in as an effect. Again, you don't need to. You can still play the part exactly 
without it and it sounds great. And remember, to help you put this together even further and help you master the guitar neck, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five chords and the five scales that you need to know, ties right in with today's lesson with that pentatonic and learning a framework for this anywhere on the neck. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide. You can download it right there as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more rock guitar, check out this video next.